Okay, this is Rocky Hall, and it is 5.36 in the morning, 69 degrees. I doubt that you can see that. My grandson keeps coming out because he's missing us already, and he's been out here 400 times. <gasps> what, brother? I love you, buddy. I love you too, buddy. Just go ahead and go in the house. We're going to leave in just a minute, okay? Um, just a minute. I love you. Are you a Dorcasaurus? What's can. it worth to you to Trust me? me. <laughs> What's it worth to you, buddy? It's so hot and miserable down there. Oh, it's horrible, Daddy. This is not a vacation. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. Especially being with Grandma. It's like, hello, it's not a vacation. She's stuck in the car with me. She'd be calling you, please come and get me. Brother, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. All right. Make sure you take you know, sure, I don't care of Shorty and Lucy. I don't know what it is with that cat, but whenever you have the headlights on... Are you just making conversations so we won't leave? No. I just was looking at the cat and I remembered she'll sit in front of the headlights just to see her own shadow. Oh, and okay. she'll play with it like this. All right, go inside, baby. Love, love you, buddy. It is August 2017. This is Rocky Hall. It is 69 degrees and it's about uh, 537 in the morning. We are leaving Susanville, California en route to Mexico. My daughter's getting her face fixed. I want to I want to show you her teeth, but I don't know if she's going to let me, so I'm not going to show you her face, but we're probably going to like get her when she's sleeping and get her a picture of her teeth when she's snoring or something. That's horrible. <laughs> right? Oh. Poor kid. Anyway, so right now I've got a half a mile on the car. <coughs> we'll stop in Reno, Nevada and get some gas. And heading down the road. These backcountry roads. Uh, how many hours is this? Did you look? It's supposed to be 15, right? Or 16. 15, 16 hour trip. We're going to spend the night in Blythe, and then uh, my daughter's going to go to church on Sunday morning, and then we are going to go down to probably Yuma, Arizona, spend the night, and then Monday we'll be going into Algodonas, Mexico, and getting her face fixed. We're getting her face fixed. <laughs> Anyway, it's about the third the price, and I'll be discussing the prices uh, during this, but I have not had my first morning cup of coffee, and so we're going to set out. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but the fastest route is 11 hours and 15 minutes, and the slower route takes us through L.A. Yeah, we're not doing that. I hate it with a passion. Okay, so that's that's where we're at. About uh, 12 hours, and my daughter pees a lot, so it's probably going to be a 36 hour trip. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but it's Honey Lake. It's August. It still has water. And that's actually a really pretty view. There's years that this dries up, and then there's uh, this last year was a lot of rain, and so we are blessed with water this year. The locals have said at one point there was a crack in this. Oh, the ground opened up and the, and the whole lake just emptied out one year. But anyway, I thought that was pretty. First pit stop, Border Town in Reno, Nevada. It is 62 degrees, 641. And we've got 639 miles to go. ETA is 452 at this time. <sighs> we are going through Reno, Nevada. We are on 80 East. Is that the Grand Sierra? What is that? No, that's the Nugget. Nugget. That is the Nugget. Anyway, so it is uh, 7 a.m., 72 degrees, and we are going through Reno, Nevada. Boinka, boinka. And we
we have left Reno, Nevada. We are on 80 and there is the famous Mustang. So Mustang, exit 23, and it says landfill. <laughs> so there's also the landfill out there as well. So no, we don't go down Mustang. That's what we don't do. Our first gas stop, it says $255 for the cash price, and I'm paying $261 with the credit card. So this is USA Parkway, and it's just kind of a random spot out here, but they are building more. Reno is expanding substantially. Oh, 7 a.m., 72 degrees. But anyway, this is a uh, very good price for gas. So this is our first gas up. Okay, we went through Fallon, Nevada, and now we're coming up on, I don't know where. But when you're going through Nevada, there's a lot of these little tiny towns that are speed traps. So you actually have to mind the speed limit. And this is a little green oasis out here in the middle of uh, middle of nowhere. And there's a river that runs through here. So you're coming across the desert and then all of a sudden you have this big long stretch of green. And it's very nice. S-C-H-U-R-Z. You spell it. And uh, so the speed limit does go down. It is 8.40 in the morning, and it's 80 degrees, and then it, uh, you're doing 65, and then it drops down to 30. So yeah, there's these little speed traps throughout Nevada like this, and so you just drop your, drop your speed down. But this is a nice little green spot in the desert because they have a, a little river here. It's really nice. How would you pronounce that? Schwartz? Shirts. Shirts? I don't know. S-C-H-U-R-A-Z. And of course we have fireworks for sale out here. And you'll see that throughout Nevada and there's uh, whorehouses throughout Nevada. So you see your little uh, ladies of the night. But there's also a lot of uh, very poor towns throughout Nevada too. You see that in California, these towns that have just turned into little ghost towns. So speed limit 40, so taking it down. There's your little volunteer fire department out there. I love it, check out that truck. Is that old or what? That's cute. That's cool. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's moved in a while, but that is a really cute little old fire truck. Anyway, just another little town in uh, nowhere Nevada. We are on 95 South. Yeah, potty break, Tamarack Lake. And this lake is like in the middle of nowhere Nevada. And uh, you never see any boats or anything on down here, but uh, you do see motorhomes and park down here from time to time. And it's literally a just a little wide spot in the road, but uh, there's a lake out here and a putty. Water, body of water, yay. U.S. Army Depot, main gate, one mile. Bam! And there's a bunch of Army barracks out that direction. And we are just south of Walker Lake. We just passed Walker Lake. I know I called it something else earlier, but it was Walker Lake. Up here on the right is the uh, Army base ammunition base. I'm sure they don't keep a bunch of ammunition there otherwise they I mean they wouldn't be freaking advertising it. But what I find really cool is some of the buildings look like they were built in the 60s or something I don't know but I think it's really cool. 
I'm back over there. It's really green. And you'll see that there's a, uh, oh, that must be a golf course. So yeah, the, the speed limit goes down to 45, and so you really do have to watch it. I'm going to stop at McDonald's up here and get me a cup of coffee. Jack myself up as we've probably got another eight hours to go or something. What does it say? How many hours? Seven hours, 52 minutes. Eight hours. So Hawthorne Army Depot, world's largest ammo depot. So they say. And they have the Veterans Memorial Highway out here as well. And uh, of course we're in the middle of Nevada, so we're looking for UFOs. <laughs> there is no intelligent life down here. <laughs> Get me out of here. So this is a army town, army barracks town. I mean, there's a Safeway here. There is a McDonald's. There's some, you know, gas stations, of course. and. So the town itself, I, we skirt around the, uh, the outside as they have built a uh, thing to go around for the trucks and everything to go around and so I, I, I don't go through town. I go around and it works for me but I'm going to stop up here at McDonald's. We are in Hawthorne, Nevada and uh, get myself a cup of coffee, do, do the little drive through and they have a huge American flag out here, what I, I always think is really cool. And when the wind is blowing, uh, came through here once with a U-Haul and uh, watching the trucks could just get bounced all over the road. And that flag was like beaten in the wind. So there's the Safeway, Hawthorne, Nevada, McDonald's cup of coffee. Stagecoach Hotel and Casino and the Denny's in here is actually pretty decent. Over here you've got a Motel 6 and you've got a uh, Subway inside of there but you got also got a candy shop and I bought myself $16 worth of chocolate. Got a motel here with the, th with the pool but the casino here the Denny's in there is actually really good and we're in Betty, Cal uh, Betty Nevada. Betty Beatty Across the street is a huge parking lot that uh, a lot of truckers stop and park in there and stay the night and stuff like that. But this is actually a really good spot to stop in Betty, Beatty, Nevada, here at the Stagecoach. And Denny's is inside of the casino and it smells like cigarettes in there. But the Denny's, I have to say, is actually pretty good. We are about 20 miles out of Searchlight, Nevada. It's 100 degrees and 3.20 p.m. <sighs> yep, so we are out here. We've got overcast clouds here, so it is actually not as hot, so we're grateful for that. And there is nothing to see out here in the middle of nowhere, and we're bored to tears. <gasps> this is turning into a 12-hour trip, and my back hurts. Coming up into Searchlight, Nevada with a speed limit of 35, elevation of about uh, 3,400 feet, and uh, we will get gas when we get into Needles. Now the speed limit just went down to 25, dollar beers, <gasps> dollar beers, cheap beer make ugly people look good. Yep, been driving too long. Right? <laughs> Cal, let us out of this car! Let us out of this car! I need to get out of this car! You know, when you start thinking about Chicken McNuggets at McDonald's just to get out of the car, you might have been in the car too long. The temperature went down to 93 degrees, and the time right now is 3.33. Look, they've got a little casino! Terribles. Terribles. Gas is 269. Searchlight, Nevada. Bam. Needles, California, population 5,387 or some something like that. I don't even care. 
there's green stuff over there, there's brown stuff over there, Bullhead City is the next exit, exit Laughlin. Uh, it is 110 degrees outside, the time is 414, 110 degrees. And we're tired of being in the car. And we're gonna go to Dairy Queen. I think it's this exit right here. I'm gonna get me a cheeseburger. Cheeseburger in paradise. Yep, 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 there's green stuff over there. And there's brown stuff over here. And I think Dairy Queen is the next exit. Let's see, Needles. Needles, California. I want the Dairy Queen. It's all that I care about in life right now. Yep, there it is. There's the Dairy Queen. <sighs> now, if I remember right, there's a gas station right next to it, too, so we're all good. We are covered. We're covered. Oh, yeah, there's like a shell or something, so I'm going to pay more for gas. Dang it. Okay, I'll let you know how much the gas is. Oh, well, you know what? Just come along with me. Just, just come along with me and... And we'll take this exit together. Yeah. I'm losing my mind. You're huh? not. <laughs> I'm losing it. People watch your videos because you're crazy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, right now we have 637.8 <laughs> miles on our butt. We're like okay. losing all of it. <laughs> That's a lot of miles on your butt in one day. This is going to be like a 12 hour trip and my butt feels like it's got 638 miles on it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're going to come off this exit with me because... Yeah. Okay. Uh, what's the price? Holy cow. 389. 389. Holy moly. Free holy. Serious? Serious. Jeez. Jeez Louise. They're both what, the same, aren't they? They're both. Head northeast. You're not the boss of me, lady on the phone Ready? thing. Is it on this side or the other? It's on this side. Three eighty nine. What did we pay? Two fifty five. Two. Sixty five. One thousand feet. Turn left. You're not the boss of me. Right. Oh. Uh. Okay, so it just went from two fifty five to three eighty nine. Yeah, I don't even know. Two forty-four a gallon. Okay, so it just went from two forty-four to three eighty-nine. Because we're in California now. Right. Welcome to California. Bend over. Take it in the shorts. Okay, I gotta get out and walk around. We gotta get out and walk around. We are at the Palo Verde Irrigation District Dam House. I used to live here. I was the dam lady that lived on the dam. The dam lady that lived on the dam. This is the dam. I used to skinny dip right there until I found out they got really good cameras there. And then the employee told me don't swim naked there. They said that the cameras were so good that they could actually hone in on the doorknob on the house. And they said don't weed outside uh, with no clothes on again either. <laughs> yeah, they did. Don't do that. People can see you. Anyway, at night you can see all the way up the river here and it's absolutely beautiful and they've really fixed this up really nice. But uh, this is like the best view in the world. It was really nice living out here on a full moon when it's 100 degrees at midnight. Uh, skinny dipping right here is like the bomb. But this is like really cold because it's coming out right here. And this is the Colorado River. And it actually goes that way. And Los Angeles firefighters and people of the such will come out here and whitewater a rescue right out here because it's uh, really nice and if anybody saw my Facebook page wondering where I got the Los Angeles firefighter t-shirt there's your clue one dollar reward for that information so you'll have to watch this video so they'd come out and wa white water rescue right there and uh, 
it was really cool but anyway this is the Palo Verde Irrigation District Dam I lived in the dam house and I was the dam lady I'll show you my dog and I can do it and it's really nice out here some people come out here and go fishing and right down here below the dam they would uh, get catfish lots of catfish I was the dam lady that lived in the dam house in the dam town of Blythe okay well we made it to Blythe nice we are where are we we are at motel 6 12 hours 737 miles on our butt 737 miles looks like they're painting outside painting inside so it looks like they're sprucing it up and 12 hours tired we made it we'll be my daughter will be going to church tomorrow and I will be sleeping in and then we'll do some stuff and then we're going to Yuma Arizona and Monday we'll be in Algodones Mexico doing our thing Motel 6 swimming pool is like bath water. It's dirty and there's uh, big huge bugs that were actually swimming around in there. I got in and one started swimming around so I don't know where he went. I don't know where he went but he was big. He was big! And this is like bath water and there was actually a really good sized bug swimming around in there so I'm not gonna do it I'm not gonna do it it is literally like bath water it feels like bath water but it is also 105 degrees outside but uh, the size of the bug that was in there when I got in was uh, too much too much is too much five feet Ah, oh, good old Blythe. Palm trees, hot weather, nice sultry 105, which is really good. We got ourselves a breeze. We will be in Algodones, Mexico on Monday, so stay tuned. They are actually working on the rooms. Uh, see, there's the pool right there. They are working on the rooms, uh, like the one we just got is freshly painted inside. Oh. And I will let myself in. So it's actually pretty cute. It's uh, got fresh paint, it's got brand new floors. The bathroom is, uh, looks like it's freshly done, but it's, it's really cute inside. You can, tell, you can tell the floors are clean. I like this way better than, um, got the both laptops fired up, got the ice chests out. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the food situation too. I'm going to break out the food, my daughter, and we'll show the food, but the bathroom is stinky. Oh, my daughter just straight blew it up. Holy moly, it's really cute in here. They did the floors, they got it painted, they got stuff in. So it's actually really cute. So what do you think? You have about 20 bucks worth of food here? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and tell me what you got. My granddaughter made me a really good sandwich that I had for breakfast. We got oatmeal, little packages of oatmeal these really good things of rice so it's not focusing very well it's okay but uh, so my daughter packed probably about 20 bucks worth of food as she shops very thrifty she got uh, some more rice and we've got some canned meat to put into the rice and then she's got bags of chips for her mom and there's the canned meat for the for the rice to cook up more canned meat sardines more canned stuff applesauce 
I like these right here. This is uh, black bean spaghetti. I actually really like those. Those are really good. Some little uh, rice fettuccine alfredo. Cool. And then where's my ice chest? In my ice chest, I what I do is I take my juice and I freeze it. So that is still cool. And I've got some lunch meat in there. And my daughter's got lunch meat. Chicken. Uh, some chicken for the rice. She's still got ice. Look at her. Some apples down in there. So this is how we this is how we roll. This is how we eat. And she's gonna get her some lunch meat and some cheese right now because she's hungry. And what I did earlier was I got me some chicken strips at that gas station that overcharged us. What was it? It was a dollar less down the street, huh? Okay, we got hosed. Now I should know better. I can get on to gasbuddy.com and get a better thing of uh, uh, price of gas. Gasbuddy.com will show you exactly what you can do for gas. And we got hosed. Uh, we paid about a dollar a gallon, literally a dollar a gallon too much. Yeah, we got hosed. So, lesson learned. Gasbuddy.com. I was all I'm thinking about was Dairy Queen and it cost me dearly. 11 miles out of Yuma, Arizona. I would say that's Mexico over there somewhere. And it's just desert and palm trees and desert. And it is 105. And they're doing road construction, so we're going slow, you know, the whole 60 miles an hour. <coughs> but we will be checking into the motel and getting out of the heat and eating lunch. And that's it. I'm at the Motel 6 in Yuma, Arizona. It is like 110 degrees outside. I don't know, maybe 106, but the humidity is really high. I'm sweating like a dog. And this is the room. The room is actually really cute. Got two queen beds. And I guess maybe they're doing this to all the Motel 6s. They're making them in the AC is a blessing. But uh, got a little table right there gonna eat our in and out burger got us a little desk got us a, a television and uh, yeah I guess they're doing this some things to all the motel sixes but this is actually really cute so and I, I really like that with the towels so anyway here's our room and it's hot and we're gonna stay inside because now we have something to eat something to drink and seeing all kinds of inmates out there with prison tattoos in the parking lot. Yay! Okay, well today is Monday. We just left. We're leaving Yuma right now. We're getting on to I-80, Interstate 80. We're heading... Eight. Eight. Interstate 8. Go this way. You end up in Los Angeles, San Diego. Interstate 8 goes along the uh, the border here so it goes from San Diego this way this way so we're in Yuma Arizona we're gonna cross the border here in just a second into California and then we are going to take exit 186 I do believe and what I want to do is I want to get the address for the casino there so that I could put that in there and then you guys can just uh, a GPS it and find your way to this exit. So we're going to Los Algodones, Mexico and you park on the Indian Reservation and I think it's 10 bucks a day to park and walk across and Algodones is just right there. There's uh, all kinds of places to get your teeth fixed and that's the Colorado River down there and at this point right here in Yuma the Colorado River is like nothing see Colorado River it's like nothing 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 we do not give Mexico much water we are stingy Americans 
Anyway, so we're going down there to uh, go to the dentist and I'm going to try to get my glasses. I'm going to try to get some glasses. California State Line, Imperial County. So we just crossed into Imperial County, California and uh, heading to Los Algodones, Mexico. Welcome to California. Communist state of California. Woot woot. Pacific time. You are entering a Pacific time at this point as well, so you need to know that if you're coming from other states. Okay, Algodonis Road, exit one mile. That's how close to Yuma this is. Uh, so st staying in Yuma is, is nice. Er, then sleeping in your car. <laughs> I don't know. I, you know, uh, there is a casino down here and uh, Mexico, next exit. But that's how, that's how quick it is. It's like a 10 minute drive, right? Yeah. So it's about a 10 minute drive. And there's the casino right there. So the casino is a lot closer and then the Indian Reservation has a campground down here too. So I'm going to show you this, Algodonis Road, Andrade, exit 166. No, I, I messed up in my head. So exit one. Right at the fork. Okay, you can turn that off. Hit the back button. Interstate 80 uh, from San Diego to Yuma, Arizona is approximately 175 miles. So California is that wide at the bottom. Do you know what the name of this is, Lisa? It's the question. You know what? I'm going to just cruise in there because we've got a second. Q-U-E-C-H-A-N. Casino. How you say Right. It's an India casino, so it's got uh, a name I cannot pronounce. Quachkin? Yeah, I have no idea. Right. I'm sorry guys, I don't know how to pronounce that. So that is the casino that's right here. So if you want to Google that and uh, find out, but this is August, so it's not... Uh, it's empty. It's empty, it's not busy. August is very hot down here. If you can handle the heat and... Uh, this is a really nice casino and this is actually pretty, pretty new. This is really new. If you can handle the heat, you're gonna, you know, obviously get cheaper rooms and uh, Ocotillo Cafe, brunch buffet, 13 bucks. And it looks like they have a lot of rooms. So, I mean, those are all the rooms right there. So, it does look like they have a lot of rooms. So, this is their casino. Uh, I'm imagining that's a pool in there. Looks like a big pool, and I bet it's cleaner than that Motel 6 we were at the other night. Should we drive all the way around? Oh yeah, that's definitely a pool. It's the pool area right there. Let's go ahead and drive all the way around. What's it gonna hurt? Go to the back here. So the rooms are, you know, a guesstimate would probably be, you know. We can look it up when we get home. Yeah, we could look it up. But, uh, I mean, there's a few people here. This is not the road out, is it? It says exit on the sign. Well, I was. I think it comes around this way. I think it does too, but I'm going to turn back up. Anyway, there are a few cars out here, so I'm sure that uh, people are down here. Uh, I 
I see California plates, I see Nevada plates, I see Arizona plates, but people come from all over, uh, they come down from Canada actually to get their teeth worked on and everything else. So there's a huge influx and the last estimate I heard was 100,000 people a year come here to uh, get medical treatment of some kind or another cross the border just into the little town of Algodonas. And uh, in the 20 years that I've been going to Algodonas, it has improved greatly. They've actually fixed a lot of things up and, you know, painted and got it uh, a lot more tourist friendly. Pretty, per se. Pretty. So this is 166. Exit 166. And I do believe this is the Colorado River. Maybe. It's got to be. Yeah, it pretty much, the Colorado goes down to a, like all American canal. It goes down to nothing by the time it gets into Mexico. It's really sad. It's, uh, it's really sad. So there is a huge uh, electrical plant right there. And it's just a little two-lane road. And what you'll see here, if you come in the uh, tourist time, which would be January, February, this is crowded. Crowded. Yeah, see that right there could be the Colorado River. And it literally goes down to nothing by the time it gets into Mexico. So. And so just from the entrance there to where we're going to park is so five miles, ten miles, real close. So. Do we have to walk five miles? No, no, we just drove that. Weapons, oh, ammo, okay. illegal in Mexico. Do not bring your guns and ammo. A Mexican jail is not like a California jail or a jail in the States. All bad, gringos all bad don't be stupid you know don't be Joe badass thinking you're Joe badass and just we took our even our pocket knives out of our pockets we've taken all of our medications out of our purses uh, when we come back through we have our passports and we you know you just don't do that if you want to spend some time in a Mexican jail, you're an idiot. There is the kind of RV park thing here. Wow, it looks that's really scrunchy. Wow, that's looking bad. That's really scrunchy. Holy moly, that is way worse than anything I remember. Wow. Yucky. Well, they've got their electrical outlets and, and water hoses out there, but I don't remember it looking that bad. Well, it looks, it looks empty. It's it, all boarded. It's all boarded up. Uh, wow. Last U turn for the US. Is this it, Mom? Or no. That says working. Yeah, ah. that's it. Uh, sorry. Last U turn, US 900 feet. No, I think this is it. Where is their. Uh, yeah, the uh, parking lot. Yeah, this is the parking lot. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. But they usually have their booth right here. Oh, it's down there, okay. Okay, I'm used to the booth being right here, but it's obviously down there. And how much was it? I think it was six dollars. Six bucks for a car. So we're in a car, RVs, vans, big, big, big vehicles are obviously gonna cost more because you're taking up two parking spots. So. <coughs> and if you can see that little brown building right there that is the border you see the Mexican flag that's the border so you got six bucks mm -hmm. uh, see my trucks with traders twelve dollars good morning Hi, how are you doing okay. today doing good. Good. thank you Arm remains open for four seconds. Well, I hope it comes. 
<laughs> there we go. <sighs> Alrighty. Well, they actually have expanded their parking lot from what I remember uh, substantially here. Do you remember being, it being this big? Mm, I remember it being pretty big. We lost the car a few times. <laughs> and as big as this parking lot is, it fills up and you will be oh. parking way out here in Never Never Land. We are going to park way up here with everybody else. You know how uh, Americans like to congregate together. You know, you're the only one in a campground for 700 miles and somebody will come park and camp next to you. It's just how it goes. Right. Yes. So, you see the Mexican flag? The border is right there. So you just walk through this gate, walk down there, and uh, yeah, I see an optical place right there. We'll be out in a second. Okay, so we're just walking through a little gate here. We parked over there, but uh, this is how empty the parking lot is in August. It is absolutely empty. There is the U.S. Customs Border Patrol right there. They're stopping vehicles. You get your happy little feet and you walk, 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 tick, 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 and right there, right there. Whoops. Right there, where that little red X is. That's where you walk through. But you got your uh, customs going through and you see people go through on their motorcycles and spend the day and everything else. Then you, you go through, then you go through here and you can see that their uh, border patrol has uh, that car and they're looking all the way through it. Got the hood up, got all the doors open, got their drug dogs out there, got their cameras going. And there's people that come and go here all the time. But it tells you the last exit, which I almost missed, you know. But uh, don't do that if you're in a big, huge RV or something. You need to l look where you're going because, you know, you're going to have to flip a UE there or whatever. So, no photography. So, I'm going to have to narcotics and controlled substance. So, no taking of videos. Pictures may not be taken in this area without authorized. Okay. Okay, we walked through the border right there, went through there, swung a left, came down this first road, and this is the border right here. All these cars are going out, back into California, and we are right here at Dr. Paro's office. Bam!